Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about dengue fever. What are the blood tests and diagnosis of this dengue fever? Dengue fever is produced by one of the virus, dengue virus, represented as DENV. This is an encapsulated virus belonging to the flavivirus with single standard RNA in the nucleus. These flavivirus are encapsulated virus and they can exist in the different genotypes. So dengue virus can exist in the four genotypes such as dengue virus 1, dengue virus 2, dengue virus 3 and dengue virus 4. All these flavivirus can produce the dengue fever and this virus is going to be transmitted by female mosquito. This female mosquito belongs to the species of Aedes aegypti. Now this female mosquito when bites to the infected person it can carry this virus such that it can act as a vector for transmission of this dengue virus. When this female mosquito bites to the infected person the viral cell can enter into the mosquito and it can be located within the midgut where it is going to be replicated to produce new variants and these variants are distributed to the salivary gland. In this way, this female mosquito acts as vector for this dengue virus. So this is the infected person. Now this Aedes aegypti is going to bite to this infected person. So it sucks the blood where the variants can be entered through the salivary gland into the midgut of the female mosquito. Now this mosquito can be transported from one area to the other area where these variants can be replicated within the midgut of this female mosquito. And for this, it takes 8 to 12 days which is called extrinsic incubation period. So replication of the virus takes place within the mosquito outside of the host. So this is called extrinsic incubation period. Now this mosquito acts as a vector and when it attacks the healthy person. On biting of a healthy person, these variants can be transported through the blood and it can enter into the circulatory system as well as it can enter into the major organs such as lungs, liver and heart where these variants are again replicated and it takes around 3 to 14 days. So this period is called intrinsic incubation period. Now we can find a significant amount of dengue virus in the infected person within 3 to 14 days. That's why we have, we have the diagnostic test for dengue where we can identify this infection within one week or sometimes after one week from the onset of symptoms in the patients. Now let's see what are the symptoms of this dengue viral infection. One of the important symptoms is the high grade fever that can be observed in the patients. We can observe a fever up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit which is an indicator of a viral infection such as dengue. And within this flavivirus category just like the other viral infections such as Zika virus, chikungunya. This dengue virus again produces fear of the muscle and joint pains. So another important symptom we can observe is the joint pain as well as some muscle pain. Similarly, we can observe some eye pain behind the eye and increased nausea as well as vomiting in the patients and some of the skin rashes can also be observed. All these are the acute phase symptoms that can be observed with this dengue infection which can be observed within one week of the infection. But we can also observe few of the severe dengue symptoms in the patients, even it is rare, but these symptoms are initiated with decrease in the body temperature. So body temperature falls to 100 degrees Fahrenheit instead of high grade fever. But these severe symptoms are associated with hemorrhagic conditions. So here we can observe severe abdominal pain in the patients and the gums are going to be affected and we can observe some bleeding gums in the patients and increased weakness resulting in the fatigue and rapid breathing can be observed and because of hemorrhagic events we can observe some blood in the vomit. All these are the severe symptoms of the dengue. So if any of these symptoms are observed immediately caution should be taken because all these are fatal to the patients. Now let us see the diagnosis of dengue virus. We can identify the dengue virus in the infected person by different types of blood tests. First one we can identify a protein that is the NS1 protein. Similarly we can identify the antibodies such as IgG as well as IgM specific to this dengue virus. And finally we can also identify 
the DNA structure of this dengue virus by using RT-PCR, reverse transcriptase, polymerase chain reaction. By all of this, we can identify dengue virus infection in the humans. So first of all, let us see the NS1 protein test. So this is the protein that is going to be released when this virus interacts with the host cell. So this is the dengue virus which can be entered into the host cell and it can interact with Golgi apparatus. After this interaction, it can release few of the proteins which can be released out of the cell and responsible for binding to the infected cells. So this is the NS1 protein which is nothing but non-structural protein. So for this we can use the rapid kits where the sample wall will be there as well as different lines for control as well as test will be provided. Now we can use the samples such as serum or whole blood. Now the serum is going to be collected. It can be entered into the sample well and a buffer is also added to the sample well. This produces a reaction between the sample and the chemicals incorporated in the kit. And if the sample contains a dengue virus, the test will give a red line, which indicates the test is positive. Now, when this test is positive, we can say that the person is infected with the dengue virus. Otherwise, we can also get another type of results. So when this blood and buffer is going to be added into the sample well, now the test is negative. We have not observed any red line. Then we cannot rule out this dengue viral infection. It can be further confirmed by test for immunoglobin M. So in this way, NS1 protein test gives a rapid detection of this viral infection. So if it is positive, we can confirm the dengue viral infection. But if it is negative, we cannot rule out this infection. It can be further tested by IgM test. So one of the advantages of this NS1 protein test is that this is a rapid test. Within 20 minutes, we can identify whether the person is infected or not. And this test can be done on any days within 0 to 7 days after the initiation of symptoms in the patients. So if any suspicion of dengue viral infection, immediately this NS1 protein test can be done in order to confirm any dengue virus infection in the patients. So after the 7 days, this test is somewhat ineffective. In such case, dengue virus should be confirmed by other tests such as IgM test. Second type of tests are the serology tests. These tests mainly use the ELISA technique, enzyme-linked immunoassay. So in these tests, we can observe the specific antibodies to the dengue virus and these antibodies can be detected up to the 12 weeks after the onset of infection. So here again, we have a kit where IgG as well as IgM can be detected. So here again, the serum as well as buffer is going to be added into the sample well. Now. The results can be interpreted based on whether both IgG as well as IgM are positive or one is positive or both are negative. For instance, by addition of the sample, the IgM line is becoming red, then it indicates it is the positive. Similarly, IgG is also becoming red, then it indicates again positive. So when both IgG as well as IgM are positive, then we can confirm the patient is infected with dengue virus. So a current infection of dengue virus can be detected by positive results of both IgG as well as IgM. But among these, IgM is more important, which indicates the current viral infection. We can also interpret the result in, suppose sample is collected less than or equal to seven days. So this is the acute phase of the dengue viral infection. In such acute phase, if the sample is collected and it is incorporated into the sample well, Suppose we have not found any red line on the IgM, so it indicates a negative result of IgM. Similarly, IgG is not giving the red line, so it is also negative. In such case, we cannot rule out the infection. Even both IgG as well as IgM are negative. We have to confirm this by taking another sample after the seven days. So another sample is going to be collected after seven days. So second sample also gives a negative test for both IgG as well as IgM. Then we can confirm that there is no infection in the patient. But if the second sample gives positive, then dengue virus is present in the patient where the antibodies reach the significant level after the seven days of infection. So when both IgG and IgM are negative, we cannot rule out the infection. A second sample should be taken after seven days to confirm 
whether positive or negative result of this test. If it is positive, infection is present. If it is negative, infection may not be present. Similarly, we can find another type of result. So when the sample as well as buffer is going to be added, sometimes we can get a result like this. The IgM line is negative. So we cannot find any red line on the IgM, so it is negative. But we find red line on the IgG, so it is positive. So negative value of IgM and positive value of IgG indicates that the patient is having the IgG antibodies but not the IgM antibodies. That means there is no current infection but the patient is having some past infection. The infection may be related with either Zika virus, Dengue virus or Chikungunya virus because all these are belonging to the Flavi virus. In this way by using the serology test we can confirm dengue viral infection is present or absent in the patients. Third type of tests are the molecular tests. So here we can use one of the tests RT-PCR. In this test we can identify the DNA of virus. Now here three steps will be there. First step is the denaturation of the DNA where the DNA stands are separated by using the dermal process. Second one is the reaction with polymerase enzyme where this polymerase enzyme can travel through this DNA and it can form a replicate. And final one is the annealing where the single strands are converted to double strands by slow dermal process. By all of these steps we can produce the replicates of DNA. So if these replicates are formed it gives a positive result in this RT-PCR test. This molecular tests are having more advantages because this is more specific test to the dengue virus. Because of specificity, we can identify the particular genotype, whether it is dengue virus 1, dengue virus 2, 3 or 4, they can be determined. And if this test result is positive, we can confirm the patient is infected with the dengue virus. But if it is negative, we cannot rule out this viral infection. Again, the infection can be confirmed by IgM test. Now let us see the other blood test which can further aid the diagnosis of dengue virus because in the critical phase of dengue viral infection we can observe hemorrhagic events. So a complete blood count is done in order to assess any hemorrhagic events. RBC cells are going to be measured. So any decrease in the RBC indicates some hemorrhagic events and platelets count is also measured. During this viral infection platelet count may be reduced. Hemoglobin levels are measured. Again, the hemoglobin levels are reduced in this infection. And finally, hematocrit is also measured. Hematocrit is the percentage of the red blood cells within the sample. So normally it is less than 50%. So when this hematocrit is going to fall, it indicates some hemorrhagic events in the patients. In this way, these blood tests can further aid the diagnosis in the dengue virus. So that's about the test for this dengue virus. Dengue virus is produced by female mosquito Aedes aegypti which acts as a vector and when this mosquito bites to the infected person it can be injected with the dengue virus where this virus can be replicated within the mid gut of female mosquito and it takes 8 to 12 days which is called extrinsic incubation period. Now this mosquito when bites to the healthy person it can transport these variants into the healthy person where they are again replicated from 3 to 14 days which is the intrinsic incubation period of this dengue virus. This virus can be detected by three types of tests, NS1 protein test, when it is positive it can confirm the dengue virus but when it is negative the dengue virus can be confirmed by IgM test. Second type of test are the serology test where the IgM plays an important role if it is positive it indicates the dengue viral infection but if it is negative with IgG positive then it indicates a post infection. Third type of test is the molecular test where the RT-PCR reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction gives a more specific test and when it is positive again it confirms the dengue viral infection but when it is negative then viral infection can be confirmed by test for IgM. So that's about the different tests in this dengue viral infection. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.